For this problem, we are required to derive an expression for the maximum value of deflection for the simply supported beam loaded as shown. Determine the value of reaction. I-denote natin na RA yung value ng reaction sa roller sa point A at RB naman yung value ng reaction sa hinge sa point B. By taking the summation of all forces vertical is equal to 0, RA plus RB is equal to P. By symmetry, we can conclude that RA is equal to RB. Therefore, RA is equal to RB is equal to P over 2. Step number 2. Sketch the elastic curve. Taking into account the boundary conditions. For example, in this problem, zero displacement at pin supports. Sabihin natin na ito yung shape ng elastic curve or ito yung magiging shape ng ating beam after i-apply yung load P. Zero displacement at point A and point B dahil meron dong support. And yung possible location ng maximum deflection is mag occur dun sa point kung nasaan yung load P. Step number 3. Use the method of sections to determine the bending moment M at an arbitrary distance X from the origin. Dapat, yung distance x na gagawin natin is masasakop niya lahat ng segment ng beam. Or yung distance x is hanggang sa last segment ng beam na nagkaroon ng change of loading. So, mag-take tayo ng moment at distance x. Moment is equal to EIY double prime is equal to RA times x where RA is equal to P over 2 times X minus P. Moment R nyan is X minus L over 2. Step number 4. By integration, integrate the expression for M twice, obtain an expression for EIY. Take note, do not forget to include the constants of integration. I-integrate lang natin muna na isang beses yung EIY double prime at ang ma-obtain natin equation is EIY prime equal yon sa P over 2. Integrate natin yung X equal yan sa X squared over 2 minus P constant. Integrate natin yung X minus L over 2. Kapag in-integrate natin yan, equal yan sa X minus L over 2 squared over 2. Do not forget the constant of integration. Yung constant para sa equation na to ay tawagin natin itong C1. Integrate natin ulit ng isang beses yung EIY prime at ang ma-obtain natin equation is equal to EIY. Ilabas natin yung constant, P over 4. Integrate natin yung X squared, equal yon sa X cube over 3. Minus constant, ilabas natin, P over 2. Integrate natin yung X minus L over 2 squared. Kapag in-integrate natin yon equal yan sa X minus L over 2 cube over 3 plus integrate natin yung C1 equal yan sa C1x plus constant para sa equation na to tawagin natin C2 ang tawag natin sa equation na to ay moment equation dito naman sa equation na to is slope equation kung saan ito yung equation na gagamitin natin para makuha yung slope sa distance x na gusto natin at itong equation naman na to is yung deflection equation. Ito naman yung equation na gagamitin natin para makuha yung deflection sa distance x na gusto natin. Step number 5. Evaluate the constants of integration from the boundary conditions. Para sa problem na to, ano yung ating boundary condition? Let's say when the value of x is 0, the value of deflection at this point is also equal to 0. And when the value of x is equal to L sa point B, yung value ng deflection sa point B is also equal to 0. But when the value of x is equal to L over 2, the value of deflection is not 0. But instead, the value of deflection at this point is equal to maximum deflection. Ito ngayon yung ating boundary condition na gagamitin natin para makuha yung value ng constant of integration or yung C1 and C2. Yung first boundary condition natin, when the value of x is equal to 0, 
the value of deflection or y is also equal to 0. Using the deflection equation, when x is 0 and y is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, therefore, C2 is equal to 0. Yung next naman na boundary condition na gagamitin natin, when the value of x is equal to L, the value of y is equal to 0. U using the deflection equation again, substitute lang natin yung value na x is equal to L and y is 0. 0, P over 12, x is equal to L cubed, minus P over 6, L minus L over 2 cubed, plus C1 times L, and the value of C2 is equal to 0. From this equation, makukuha na natin yung value ng C1. And the value of C1, kapag sinimplify natin yan, is equal to negative PL squared over 16. Yung next boundary condition na gagamitin natin is when the value of X is equal to L over 2, the value of deflection is maximum. Using the deflection equation again, EIY max is equal to P over 12 times x is equal to L over 2 cubed minus P over 6 L over 2 minus L over 2 cubed plus C1 is equal to negative P L squared over 16 times x is equal to L over 2 and the value of C2 is 0. This term equal to sa 0 kasi L over 2 minus L over 2. At kapag sinimplify natin yung equation, y max is equal to negative PL cube over 48EI. Take note, positive deflection means upward displacement and negative deflection means downward displacement. Pwede natin i-rewrite yung answer natin as y max is equal to PL cube over 48EI downward.